Welcome back to our medical news channel. Today, we bring you a groundbreaking story that could change the face of organ transplantation. Surgeons have successfully transplanted a donor liver kept warm and alive outside the body for three days. Let's dive into the details. Usually donor organs are kept on ice, a method known as cold storage, where the liver can be preserved for up to 12 hours. But now, a method called normothermic perfusion has been used to keep a donor liver viable for three whole days. How is this possible, you ask? Well, the normothermic perfusion method provides the organ with a continuous blood supply, which is significantly better than putting it on ice. It allows the liver to function outside the body at a normal temperature, making it more viable for transplantation. This development could revolutionize organ transplantation. Not only can it increase the viability period of the liver, but it can also allow more flexibility in the timing of transplant operations. Plus, it can help reduce the number of donor organs that have to be discarded. Due to cell damage caused by low temperature preservation, the recipient of the warm liver, a man who had cancer, needed a new liver for his treatment. His transplant operation was done for days after the donor organ was removed from its original owner, a 29-year-old woman who tragically passed away. After 12 days, he was able to go home from the hospital. While the results so far look very promising, doctors say, more research, with more patients and longer observation periods, is still needed. But this transplantation success could open new horizons in the treatment of many liver disorders. In fact, some of the UK's seven liver transplant units have started using the same technology, and experts at Oxford University plan to assess the outcomes as part of a trial called the PLUS study. So, there you have it, a possible game changer in the field of organ transplantation. We'll keep you updated as more developments unfold. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more medical news. Until next time, stay healthy.